Well, kia ora everyone, Mitch McCann here from News Hub in Tokyo. We're here at the Olympics and we've asked Google what people are asking about the Games. Today I'll tell you about Tokyo 2020 and how it's all going to work. The Summer Olympics are held every four years in whichever country wins the rights to hold the event. In recent years they've been held in Beijing, China, London, England and Rio in Brazil. This year there are 33 sports involved. Karate, surfing, skateboarding and sport climbing are all new. Now the opening ceremony starts on July 23 at Olympic Stadium here in Tokyo. But events actually start before that. Baseball and football start on the 21st of July. And our men's football team will start the Kiwi campaign on that night. Now you may have heard things will be a little different here in Japan. And that's very true this time around. COVID-19 has claimed the lives of almost 15,000 people here in Japan since the pandemic began. The Games was delayed by an entire year, which was a very big deal considering it's only ever been cancelled due to war. And while it's happening now, there won't be any foreign fans. Spectators are even banned from stadiums. Now, despite the presence of COVID, this will be New Zealand's biggest team ever. We'll have 211 athletes coming over, 101 women and 110 men. And can we win? Well, of course we can win. We've got loads of medal chances this time around. Valerie Adams, Lisa Carrington, Lewis Clearbert, our sevens teams, they are all in with a chance. At the last games in Brazil, we won 18 medals. So that's the number to beat this time around. So how can you keep up with the Olympic Games? Well, we have you covered. News Hub's team of Lisa Raymer, Ollie Ritchie and myself will have all the Olympics information you'll need over the next couple of weeks. And we'll see you on the AM show throughout the day on News Hub and here online. We'll see you soon from Tokyo. Sayonara.